It takes plenty of skill to stay on target when it comes to archery, and a pair of Northeast Indiana archers are among the best in their field. I had a chance to catch up with Churubusco student Thomas Skyze and Fort Wayne native Ryan Davis as the two look to hit their mark in this fall's World Archery Field Championships. Aiming for six. At this range in Churubusco, Ryan Davis and Thomas Bear Geise spend countless hours hunting for a perfect shot. Bear was first exposed to archery in elementary school. His interest bloomed into his livelihood. Yeah, it's been pretty fun. Made a lot of memories uh, traveling the country and competing in tournaments. As for Davis, he's quickly climbed the ranks in the archery community. Field archery is new this year to me. I've been a competitive barebow archer since early 2020. Unlike Olympic archery, where athletes can use sights, stabilizers, and other equipment, barebow doesn't use all the bells and whistles. Just a bow, an arrow, and a steady hand. Making things more challenging is that Davis and Geise have to battle Mother Nature when competing in field archery. You know, depending on the game you're playing, you, you might judge the distance, you might check the lighting, the wind, the terrain, and you just, you just make your good shot. If you're not paying attention, you'll start having some bad arrows. You have rain and wind to deal with as well, obviously, it makes it very difficult from a day-to-day -day sort of perspective. This fall, Davis and Geise will compete at the World Archery Field Championships in Yankton, South Dakota. Davis is one of three U.S. archers competing in the barebow class with Geise in the U-21 division. I'm very excited to get to wear the uh, red, white, and blue jersey representing the United States. Uh, it's not an opportunity that a lot of people get, so it's, I'm going to really take advantage of it. The two also hope their outings inspire a new wave of archers to hail from Northeast Indiana. Yeah, there's some strong shooters coming out of this area. Um, I'm proud of Bear. He's, he's coming along, and he's got a long future ahead of him. It really shows to the talent coming from this area and really shows how when people from this area work hard, they can accomplish really anything. Davis is also competing in the World Games in Birmingham with qualifying play in barebow archery starting on Sunday. I'm Josh Agan, and that's your local sports report.